Thank you. Now to our continuing coverage of the Ray Tenzing murder trial, we go back to Nine on Your Side anchor Tanya Work, who is live again outside the Hamilton County Courthouse. Hi, Julie. And you know, we talked about it at the top of the show. The judge has issued a gag order in this case. What that means is the attorneys in this case, defense, prosecution, they cannot talk to the media and vice versa. We can't talk to them any longer about this case in any way, shape or form. The judge says this gag order was because of concerns over the jurors filled out questionnaires because earlier in the day, the judge had granted a request to release those filled out questionnaires with some of the information about the jurors redacted. The judge said she would take out anything that would identify the jurors, but that assurance apparently wasn't enough, at least for one jury member. So she called to re a recess in the case, that is, until Monday morning, and she did not mention anything more about the jurors' concerns moving forward. Now, here's another big headline from today's stuff, the trial today in court, Ray Tenting. Entered into evidence today was a photograph of the t-shirt he was wearing under his uniform. It was a black t-shirt with a Confederate flag under on it. It also said Smoky Mountains 1932 on it, I believe. Now, there was no further questioning about that t-shirt today, but that picture of it blew up on social media. So we got some reaction today from Sam DuBose's family. Well, I already knew Tenzing was a murderer, but now I just thought this was you know, clearly something's wrong with his spirit. That was my reaction. Something is wrong with his spirit. That's evil there. Anytime a man would take a gun out and shoot another human being the way he no. shot my son, he was, I knew he was a wicked, evil man. This picture came to light while a crime scene investigation was, investigator, that is, was on the stand. Jimmy Pham walked the jury through several photos of the scene, including corners of the car, blood splatter, and the marijuana found in DuBose's car. A use of force expert also took the stand today. Scott Hogue says the shooting was not justified. He said Tenzing should not have reached into DuBose's car during the traffic stop. He also said Tenzing was not being dragged at the time.